Good morning, everybody. Back out here in the Sugar Shack for batch number six, I believe. This is batch number six. Everything is going really well. Uh, the stove's up at around two and a uh, little over two gallons an hour, which I'm super pumped about. And um, the uh, the new fan uh, is working. Um, let me flip this around here, and I'll go over things a little bit more in detail. Alrighty, so some changes here. For those who have been watching, you'll see I have my siphon tubes in, and it's they're working super well. Um, I've only been adding to the back pan, and it's keeping that front pan around the same level. Uh, I think gravity-wise, this one may be a little higher, so I probably should have that one feeding this, since that is the hotter pan as well too. But this is working. So ideally, I think I should be filling this pan with fresh, and having it siphon over to that one, since that is the hotter pan. But both are bo have been boiling, and that's good. So it's working for right now. I can make some changes along the way. And I just have those two tubes there to kind of uh, help stabilize it, because I just had them balancing before, and they would teeter, and the bubbles would help them move and whatnot, so we're doing that. Um, I kind of went over, I think I went over how this had uh, expanded, because I had accidentally filled the uh, the tube overnight and it all froze and it popped off so i fixed that made that coil tighter again so that's working the way it should be again i've already gone through the first five gallons i have 20 just shy of 25 to do today and the fan is working so the only thing that i know i'm going to have to do and i knew this before is to make a hood that would kind of go over and catch everything as it goes up. Because as you can see right now, it is catching some, but there's a lot that's going up. I still have rain on the, you know, condensation on the ceiling. And so it's raining a little bit in here, but not anywhere near what it was. Um, so it's doing very, very well. And I'll flip you to a video I took outside the shack this morning when it was really working. And otherwise, this is this is going really good. So two gallons an hour is actually the fastest this has ever cooked. Uh, I'm going to say the only things that have changed are those siphon tubes. Um, yeah, that, and that's really it. That's the only thing that has changed. So if that keeps this all going smoothly, then we found success here. And the only thing I would like to do is cut those into smaller pieces for next year. I understand I'm using bigger chunks of wood. They should probably be smaller. I know that, but here we are anyway. So got a good fire going and both sides are boiling. So maybe today, if I have some extra time while I'm waiting for this to cook, um, I can hand split some of that stuff a little, little smaller and feed that in there. Uh, I have a, I'm anticipating several more gallons today from the trees because it was it was warmer last night still below freezing but warmer than it has been and it's supposed to be very warm today so I have a feeling the trees are going to be uh, hemorrhaging and actually I'll take you over to the one tree now so I emptied this yesterday around five o'clock and so it still put out some uh, last night and, uh, and it's not frozen, so that is good news. So I have a feeling we're gonna have some more today. To so whatever I get today, I will be adding, again, empty this last night too. I will be adding this to the batch that is currently going. So there we go, oh, that one's got a good amount too. And actually this hole, <laughs> you can see it's frozen. Um, that, this bucket was here. Uh, the angle was weird and it wasn't draining properly. I didn't drill it at the right angle and uh, it just wasn't wasn't good. So I, I just removed that one, re-tapped over here. So we're good to go. And I have been leaving this cracked just a little bit for a little extra air. This has been working really good. Like if I stick my hand here, I can feel the draft suck. Like I can feel this sucking in. This is not hot. This is actually nice and cold to the touch. Even up here, I can still touch this and that's really close. So this is pulling in air very well. This setup has worked 
very well. The only thing I think for next year, I might do a whole new barrel, just start fresh, knowing what I know now. I will keep it down here. Um, I'll make my cuts a little bit nicer to, to make them even. I do want to get a legit single pan. We'll see. I don't know. And uh, I will probably invest in some insulation to close in these little gaps right here. But that's it. Hope you're having a great day and uh, hope you like it. If you have any questions about this whole process, just let me know um, what I've learned along the way. Maybe I will do a video when it's all said and done of what I've learned, um, what I would, what I would have done differently and uh, what I will change for next season. I'm pretty sure this might be my last hurrah. This might be my last batch. Uh, we'll see. See how the, what the weather does for us here. I'm going to be keeping an eye on the buds on the trees for sure. So that's all. Have a great day.